Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and I'm back with another video. So today I have an unboxing for you guys. I, um, in my handbag collection video, um, said that I wanted to sell, or I was thinking of selling my Chanel wa wallet, I was going to say walk, but wallet on chain is the proper term. And I love that bag, I really did, but there were some things about it that bugged me, so I still liked um, the idea of having a mini bag in my collection. I feel like everyone should have a mini bag just because they're so cute and convenient and you know sometimes you don't feel like having something weigh you down. Even if you don't carry a lot in a big bag it's still I feel it can be cumbersome and just smaller bags are perfect for like going out and all that fun stuff. Sorry if I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to get better with my timing. My handbag collection video was like 19 minutes long and I was looking at the statistics for it and it was like people only watch on average like half of the video which I get like psh, I'm stupid but so I sold my wallet on chain and I sold it to a fellow youtuber Tabby4 I'll link her down below I seriously think that she is the cutest person in the world and she's older than me but she is so sweet she was an absolute pleasure to deal with she is just um, really like just a, such a sweet sweetheart um, and I'm gonna I really want you guys to watch her she makes handbag videos she makes lots of videos she uploads way more than I do so she has a lot more videos to watch so you guys should check her out the bag looks so cute on her and I'm happy that it looks like she'll be wearing a lot more than I did I did unbox this already because I wanted to take a look at it oh I don't know it's not a true unboxing it's a reveal I'll title this video as a reveal um, so this is a box that comes in with a camellia flower it's a very tiny box it's so cute okay so I love unboxings <laughs> this is so much fun um, so it comes in this itty bitty dust bag which I have never seen a dust bag this small. It is so cute. Getting into the bag. Here is my mini flap. So this is um, a Chanel square mini in caviar uh, quilted leather with silver hardware. Let me check the time. Okay. Um, I absolutely love this bag. This is not in black. This is in a burgundy, purpley color that sometimes picks up as, picks up as brown with uh, silver hardware. So I am in disbelief by how much I love silver hardware. I never thought I would own a silver hardware bag. Um, I have an executive tote right here actually that I'm currently using with silver hardware. This is black with silver hardware. And ever since I got that bag, I am obsessed with silver and it looks so fresh. I still have my jumbo with gold hardware. I feel like it fits that bag for me um, but I'm just really loving the silver hardware and the fresh look and the youthful look that it gives off. <laughs> I'm so excited! Okay so I'm just gonna pull the strap out. So it has the uh, signature Chanel turn lock over here. The pocket on the back which is absolutely adorable. And when you open it, it so says, oh my god, I don't know how to focus, guys. I'm really sorry. This is a new camera. Yep, fail. I don't know how to do it yet, but it says Chanel Paris. Um, and it is just such a good size. It says Chanel made in France. And then there's a zipper. By the way, this was new. I bought it on the pre-owned market, um, but it was new. So it has... Where's the authenticity card? Okay, the authenticity. Ooh, I probably shouldn't show the number even though I just did. But that is the authenticity card. <clears throat> That's important to have. Even although I will say that just because a bag that you're buying pre-owned, whether it be on eBay, Fashion Folly, Uvies Closet, uh, Mallory's, if it doesn't have an authenticity card, that does not mean it's necessarily fake. There are so, so many um, bags that have an authenticity authenticity card that are fake. You know what I mean? It's a lot of times these things get lost. I almost lost my authenticity card for um, my jumbo or one of my bags. So it can happen. It doesn't mean that it's fake. So don't let that stray you from buying a bag. Um, I just wanted to say that. Who texted me? I can't. 
Hi Andy, if you're watching this, I know you're going to be watching this. I want to see what you guys think because I know that the Square Mini, first of all, it's really hard to come by a Square Mini. There's lots of chevron print patterns now that are so cute, like in the so black and like a pink color. I've seen it in so many different colors. Um, but in the qu classic quilted pattern, Square Minis are really like nowhere to be found. I love a Square Mini. I love it for whatever reason more than the rectangular. I just like how it's different looking than the flat. Um, I could have got you my medium large flat, but this is my jumbo, so I feel like this just looks different. I don't know. I, I feel like they're like, this is the mommy and this is the baby. <laughs> and I really like that about it. It's just the cutest little thing. And the walk was really cute too, but I'll, maybe I'll do a comparison. No, I can't do a comparison because I don't have the other video. Basically, the reason that I wasn't like using the walk as much, I feel like, um, I'm not a, a t small girl. I'm like pretty average and I'm 5'5", five five, so I'm not petite. So I felt like that bag just looked so tiny on me and it didn't really flatter me so much, you know? Like on Tabby, it looks so good because she's teeny tiny. I mean, you're not, she's not like super small. I'm, I mean, like short. She's very small. Like she has a very cute, like slender frame. And I feel like it suits her more. Oh my god. There's a big grasshopper outside of my window. I sold the Wallet Unchained because I miss the turn lock also. I really like how this um, has a turn lock. It's just really um, like fun for me to open, you know. Alright, hey guys, so I want you um, to let me know if you think that this is a little too short on me. I think it's cute, but I do know that it's it's shorter than the rectangular mini. That's the only downside for me. That it does um, kind of hit me right above my hip. But I honestly think it looks so cute. So I don't know if I want to get rid of it. But from the side, it looks like that. And I'm 5'5", five five, by the way. I think I mentioned that already. I just think it's so cute. And I'll show you what, it, what fits inside in a little bit. But it's perfect to just wear on the shoulder. And I'm sure you could double the strap. Uh, I probably won't be doing that because I feel like it would be too, too short and just would suffocate my arm. But guys, my bed is so messy. I am so sorry. Like, I just tucked it in. I just think that looks kind of bougie. Now I'm going to show you what I can fit in this bag. So this is a current bag I'm using. Obviously, not everything in here can fit, but let's see. So things that are essentials are my card case, which is by Louis Vuitton. I freaking love this thing. I love it more and more I use it. Um, my ex-boyfriend got it for me. I'm going to do a video about my breakup, not to like bash my relationship, but I learned so much. And if you guys want to see that video, let me know because holy crap, I feel like I just need to tell you guys stuff. And like my experience could really help some people because, yeah. Alright, so the card case, of course, fits inside very nicely. And I'll try to remember to put the dimensions of this bag and the strap below. I think it is 21 inches though because I asked the seller. My um, Louis Vuitton six ring key holder fits beautifully. And you could um, put your stuff, I guess, vertically so it fits more. But I'm going to put it in regularly. Um, oh, my phone's charging. But my phone, this is an iPhone 5. It's perfectly. You could definitely fit a bigger phone as well, like a six or something. And then I always like to carry lipstick, which of course fits really well. And then I always have some kind of perfume with me. Oh my god, I'm almost done with this. This I got from Anthropology. It's uh, Ocean E Out Remer. I don't know, but it smells like the beach, and I get so many compliments when I wear this, and I need to buy more. So that fits really nicely and that fits, I just love how compact it is. You can probably fit most of what I put in here into your walk, honestly. Um, so I wouldn't worry about the walk being too small or anything like that. What time is it? <laughs> I wouldn't worry about the wa wallet and chain being too small if you're just bringing your essentials. Okay, my video just got cut off. So you probably can fit more at the top 
Um, like if you're a makeup addict, like my, my girl Tina, you probably could stuff some like um, type of, I don't know, mirror, like little comp compact mirror, or I don't know, like lip glosses and stuff like that. Just You definitely have some room left afterwards. And fits, it closes beautifully. And with the wok, sometimes if you fill it up, it snaps open. Didn't happen too much really at all, but I just feel like this is a lot more um, secure. And then there's this pocket on the back, which you can definitely fit your cards in, not your phone. Can I put my phone in there? I don't think I can. But I was going to show you anyway. No. You can do it like that. But, I mean, if you're desperate. People are always carrying their, their phone in their hands anyway. So, that's it. I absolutely love this bag. I can't even believe I have this. Because the square mini, like I said, in the classic pattern is so, so hard to come by. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Let me know if you think it looks too short on me crossbody. Like my mom said, it looks too short um, when I was wearing a dress. But then when I put on like a shirt with pants she said it looked good um, but let me know what you think if it looks too short crossbody or not but I'm probably still gonna keep it because I just love it if I forgot to address anything because I girls brain is fried right now because this internship is so intense in a good way I love I seriously love my job um, but yeah if there's anything I forgot to mention please let me know I will de I respond to every single comment because I love you guys <laughs> I really love you guys and I love when I see the same people comment like Brittany B-R-I-T-T-A-N-E always comments and it makes me so happy when I see you guys like I don't know I feel like it's such a good community we have on YouTube especially like handbag addicted people we're all so nice to each other there is some hate but it's smaller than the love which is good if you want to see more videos because I have another unboxing um, that I actually recorded already but I'm not too happy with it I just feel like I was I don't know I feel like I could do a better job so I might be I don't know which one I'll be putting up first but it is a an Hermes bag that I bought pre-loved of course um, and it's vintage so it's not like brand spanking new but I love it please subscribe for more videos like I said I'm gonna be posting tons more I have a collab that I'm doing with my friend an unboxing and maybe a breakup what I learned from my breakup video um, and that's it thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you love my beautiful new mini flap Chanel is seriously my favorite designer for bags like no one top Chanel for me love you guys so much bye